Seventeen year old Justine made her television debut in the show's first season after establishing herself as a model and an actress in commercials. Playing baseball with others in her business gives her a chance to relax, stay in shape, and be with her friends, like Family Ties co star Michael Fox. You started out as a model. How'd you wind up on uh, Family Ties? Well, I was, I was doing modeling and I didn't want to get into I was doing uh, plays at school, but I didn't want to get into acting because I was doing school and modeling and it was too much. And, mm -hmm. uh, my mom said, why don't you just do some, do some uh, commercials and pay for your trips to New York because that's where I was modeling. Yeah. I said, okay. So I did some commercials and this was like the second theatrical interview and I got it. Mm -hmm. So I was really lucky. But staying with a network television series demands more than luck. The days can be 12 hours long, with new lines to learn each night. It helps if you can get along with the people around you. Like, you're pretty good friends with Michael right by now, aren't you? Yeah. What was it like uh, the first day on the set when uh, you were, you know, coming out of there not knowing anybody? Was that? I was real nervous. Um, when we did the pilot, we had eight days to do it, and by the third day, they fired the girl who they had hired for the guest spot. Mm -hmm. And this was my first thing, and I thought, <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> I said, I was like, what if they fire me? Because you're like, oh, you're alone, you know, you're alone out there. And what if they fire me and stuff? And I was all nervous and stuff. And then after we got to the taping day, I figured, well, they're not going to fire me. <laughs> yeah. And then after the pilot, I thought, what if they hire another girl for the for the uh, series? Because you know? yeah. this was my first thing, and I wasn't. And now I realize, when you got the job, you've got the job. Just go in and do the best you can. Justine's television role has made her a public figure. As a kid, she used to collect autographs. Now she gives them. What's it like for you now that um, you're famous and being recognized in the streets? <laughs> famous. Sure, come on. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> What's it like now that you, you are being recognized in the streets? Well, it's when people say, oh, it must be nice when people recognize you. I say it's nice when they do and it's nice when they don't. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's nice, you know, you got to be nice and because you are public property. You you come at, you've exposed yourself to the public and you belong to them in a sense. Okay, mm -hmm. And it's your duty to sign their autographs, talk to them, whatever. Yeah. Because you've, you've brought that on yourself. But then when they don't, it's nice too. This is where you come in. This is your part in the master plan. Like Michael Go. Fox, you know, he was in New York a couple of weeks ago. Couldn't walk two blocks without someone stopping him. Yeah. And that would seem like, like carrying a 50-pound pack on your back or something. You know, you've got all these people stopping you and touching you. And my mom's a stewardess, and yeah. she can sympathize with me because people always, can I have this? Can I have that? You know. Yeah. Right. When you get really tired of of all the work and the pressure and, and you know, all the spotlight on you all the time. What do you do to relax? You know? I vegetate for the television. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes it gets like that and you feel like, look, I'm really nobody. I'm really just, I'm really just doing a job, you know, and, and you feel like, you feel like that sometimes, yeah. Or I go, I go out with my friends because they treat me, you know, normal. Yeah, so. Or I go to school. <laughs> So you got uh, regular friends who aren't involved yeah, in the business? Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah. It keeps you normal. Oh, One of her best look. friends in the entertainment business is Moon Unit Zappa of Valley Girl fame. Karma. What's on deck? Who's on What's on second? I figure that I'm in a unique uh, situation and I might as well learn all that I can. So, you know, the when the camera guys are taking a break, I get on the cameras and I'm doing these shots and yeah. stuff. And they help me, they show me what everything's for, and I go up in the booth and they show me what everything's about. And yeah. why not, you know? Are you guys winning? No idea. 